folks, welcome back to the channel. So today I am going to bring you a interesting video. I always like these. These are my top five favorite 3D prints for FPV. Now, these ones aren't like, you know, GoPro mounts or uh, skids for your quad. These are 3D prints that I use in conjunction with the hobby. Things that help make my life just a little bit easier. Now, this is gonna be a hands-only video. I recently had a small accident and have a pretty nasty uh, nasty gash above my f my left eye that I don't want to subject you guys to so it might be this way for a little bit So before we get moving here we go all these I will definitely put uh, links to the STLs in the video description um, And if you like this remember like subscribe here we go. So number five is this one by uh, H5 labs this is the H5 Labs solder station organizer. This is a pretty useful little 3D print. Uh, holds all my screwdrivers, screw sticks, uh, tweezers, side cutters here. Uh, also holds a roll of solder. Yes, solder. Makes that nice and easy to work with. And there's a nice little drawer here on the side. Uh, nice for storing like extra solder tips if you need them. So this print takes about 162 grams of filament. This is all printed in uh, PETG and about a, a 11 and a half hours of print time. There are extra accessories that you can add onto this 3D print if you wanted to. Um, I just uh, I just like it like this. And then from here, I'll usually hang a, a small spool of shrink tube here, like the, the really, uh, the real thin, polyfin stuff, the stuff that gets really hard. Uh, I do prefer that type of uh, heat shrink. Number four is this one. This is called the C-Wrap Strap, possibly Crap Strap, I don't know, by uh, SP3 Calic, uh, found over on Thingiverse. This is printed out of uh, TPU, takes about one gram of TPU and about eight minutes to print possibly less depending on your printer. And uh, this is like a nice reusable uh, zip tie almost. So you can kind of just put it around a bundle of wires like that. You can just pull it nice and tight. Uh, nice in, this, in a, a pinch, especially if it's something where you're constantly taking zip ties on and off or you don't want to buy those funky little um, Velcro straps. These are actually kind of nice. And if you have a 3D printer that you can print TPU with, there you go. These work very, very well. Number three are these. Uh, these are hinged corners for PVC gates. Um, and they also have a, a vertical by Refractor BB, uh, found on Thingiverse. Uh, about 80 grams of filament, eight hours to print. These are really nice for building race gates. Um, and they have three different sizes, one for half, three quarter, and one inch PVC pipe. Uh, these ones here are for the half inch. They print in place like so with a live hinge on them. You just kind of break them apart. Like that. And then you can make yourself a race gate that you can fold up quickly when you're done racing. We actually use this exact design in our multi-GP group, uh, Delta 5, except for we use the one inch uh, version because, well, the one inch PVC pipe holds up a heck of a lot better than half inch or three quarter. But uh, yeah, we actually use these and I have never seen one break yet. They can get all twisted around like 360 degrees off and they still work just fine. I've never seen one fail. Uh, but anyways, uh, about 80 grams of filament and about eight hours to print uh, one of these. So it is quite a lengthy print. It's about the best hinge solution I've seen for race gates and it's just a bonus that they pack up so easily and quickly. All right, number two is this. This is the TS100 Pencil TS80, TS80P case by uh, Terraman. Um, I've been using this soldering iron case for a very long time. It's super useful. Uh, it's a very interesting print. I do like interesting prints. So, just 
pop it open here and you can see here is my, uh, this is a Sequire TS001. So it's a TS100 knockoff is what this one is. But it holds your iron, it has a little bearing doodad here that holds your iron when you're not uh, working with it. Hold your cord and a small roll of uh, solder there. Now, I recently stopped using this iron because I found one that I like a little bit more and that is this one here. This is the uh, Sequire TI012 uh, Pro. This is a very good soldering iron and his case doesn't fit this iron. So he has the step files on Thingiverse and I was able to redesign this, did a remix for this one and it will definitely be on Thingiverse. Obviously link in the description, but this holds the iron, two tips. Cool thing about this design that I really like is the hinge mechanism. The hinge is actually just a piece of 3D printed filament. So you just run a, a piece of filament through the holes. And then snip the length and melt it down. And now you have the hinge for the case. And it fits very nice in my flight bag. Things you'll need for assembly other than, you know, an extra piece of, of uh, uh, filament is a bearing, an M3 bolt, and a nut right there. And it's a very quick, quick job to assemble this thing. There you go, there's your iron holder. Now this case does uh, take a little while to print. It's nine hours and it consumes about 144-ish grams of filament. But in my opinion, this is totally worth it. That was my number two. And number one, by far, without a doubt, is this guy here. This is yet another machine vise by the Goofy. 190 grams of filament, takes about 16 hours to print. There are lots of different pieces here. Uh, this is a entirely 3D printed bench vise. I use these things all the time. This vise I have been using for, I'd say roughly, geez, it's gotta be five years now. And all I've done to it is I've replaced the jaws once because they do kind of melt because you know they're printed of plastic. Uh, the bodies of these, I print in PETG. I don't print anything in PLA. Mama didn't raise no bitch. Everything is in PETG or ABS. Um, like, you know, these are ABS. And then TPU, where that's appropriate. But uh, you can put your own little spin on the color scheme here. So this one's a nice green and black. This is kind of a Prusa theme, orange and black. Uh, very easy to print. The threaded part here will tell you whether you really have your printer tuned well or not. Uh, sometimes it's I, uh, a good idea to just get a tap and die and run them down the threads to kind of clean up to make it easier. Um, and then the only recommendation I have when you do print this vise, if you do print this vise, is the little pins here. Which I, I typically glue these in place uh, because I never have to take the, the vise part. But uh, I usually drop the Z height only by uh, maybe 10%. Uh, they typically seem to be too thick to fit in here, but uh, with the little hook on them, the little hook design, they go right in and lock on the backside of the vise, making it fairly rigid. But if you want to make this a, a super rigid setup, glue the two halves, put them together, put the pins in with a little bit of glue, and uh, these things are awesome. Uh, yes, they're made of plastic. Remember that, you know, you don't want to crank them too hard. Uh, the gears will slip, but uh, for everything I do FPV, these things are awesome. I just wish I could fit a vise inside this vise. They're just a little too short, but anyways. Uh, anyways, that is my number one 3D print is yet another machine vise by the Goofy. And of course, what is one of these videos without uh, an, an extra number six? This is not my favorite print, but it is one of the more useful prints for everybody out there who's getting the Immersion RC power meter now that they're back in stock. This is uh, an Immersion RC RF power meter case 
by uh, SHK1D29, uh, except for I remixed this one, and again, I'll put that on Thingiverse there for you. Uh, one of the things with the Immersion RC power meter is anything over, was it 800 milliwatts, you really need an attenuator. This case is super nice because it holds all your accessories, um, but I went one step further and made another slot for the attenuator. Very cool design. I put a little bit of foam in there to kind of keep it quiet. Same thing down inside the bottom of the barrel. I love threaded 3D prints. This thing just goes together like butter. Super smooth in the finish. And you just put your power meter, your attenuator, the little uh, adapter Madu thingy here, your sniffer antenna, and then uh, I have a little SMA pigtail that I put down inside the can there, and then another one here at the top, just because one's SMA, one's RPSMA. And then, uh, there you go. It's all contained one, one big mess, and every time you open it up, you're not sifting through the parts. They're in there, nice and secure. All right, folks, these are my six, five, six, whatever, favorite 3D prints that I have found, remixed, or used for a very long time in the hobby. What do you think of these six here? What do you like? What don't you like? What are your favorite 3D prints? Put them, put links or uh, uh, Thingiverse numbers down in the video description, and I'd love to check them out. I'd love to know what it is that you like and what you use. But anyways, if any of this stuff's helped you out, please like and follow. Um, if you like what I do here, you can subscribe to me over on Patreon. It costs you $2 a month, and uh, there are some bonuses there. Get you in a special section of my Discord, and uh, you know, there's some, uh, there's some other goodies over there on Patreon. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Thanks for coming by, and as always, stay positive. We'll see you next time. Bye.